how to prep your digital files um, for printing, right, your designs. So you'll be printing um, your best symmetrical design, right, so your symmetrical simple shape composition, and then your best asymmetrical simple shape composition. So you'll have two designs that you're printing in total. Um, I'm just going to take you through that process for um, this example, which is obviously a symmetrical simple shape composition. Okay. Um, all right. So you've completed your design. You're all set again to prep it for printing. Um, we basically, you know, our job now is to get rid of everything that falls outside of this 10 inch by 10 inch compositional field, right? Um, where, you know, in which does, resides our design, okay? So we get rid of everything that's outside of that field. Um, the first step is to get rid of the blue frame, right? So we're in PowerPoint, we're going to click on the black, or sorry, the blue frame, God, the, you click on the blue frame, and then just hit delete, right? Get rid of that. Um, that actually shows us, oh, um, surprise, surprise. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> I have an extra triangle in here. That's fine. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I believe that's the extra one. Okay. Um, and all right. So now this shows you sort of the parts of the shapes or the areas of all of these individual shapes. My three, one, two, three triangles, my three squares, um, or there's three circles, sorry, three triangles, three circles. Oh, not my brain is not with my mouth. Um, so we have to get rid of all of the parts of the shapes that are hanging off the 10 inch by 10 inch um, compositional field. All right, so the first step of this is I have to just transform um, these shapes so that I sort of am cutting them into pieces at um, you know where they overlap. All right, so the first step is to select all of the shapes as well as my 10 inch by 10 inch compositional field. And I can either rubber band select that or just click and hold down shift um, on all of the six shapes and then the um, compositional field itself. So I'm gonna try rubber band selecting. Sometimes you have to go out pretty wide to get all the shapes. It looks like I have everything selected in here. Let me just show you. If I go here, like if I'm an Illustrator or something like that, all right, on Adobe, I can usually go like this. And as long as I hit all some part of all of the shapes, it will select. But in PowerPoint, it doesn't do that, right? So that only got two of them. Um, so you really have to be careful about that, that you're not missing shapes as you go. All right, so here, right, nice wide uh, um, rubber band selection. I've got everything. I'm going to then go up to my shape format menu right here, click on that, and then go over, in my case, I go over to the left and to the Merge Shapes drop-down window. I'm going to click the arrow for the drop-down menu, and you'll see some options here. If you're familiar with Illustrator, these look somewhat like the um, Pathfinder um, sort of menu options here. I'm going to choose Fragment, and that will again cut up all of the shapes that you see here into the section, into sort of these separate overlapped um, sections. Okay, so Fragment, there we go. Um, you'll notice at the same time, the what was my white um, compositional field, my 10 by 10 compositional field, has all of a sudden turned black. And that's fine. We'll deal with that later um, after we get rid of all of our overlapping shapes. Okay, so we sort of deselect here. I'm then going to click on all the pieces that fall outside the 10 inch by 10 inch compositional field, and I'm going to select and simply delete them. Okay, so just go ahead, and you'll see how all of those pieces just come right off because um, they're now separate from the other shape, the other parts of the shapes, I guess, right? So here, delete, click and delete, here, delete, 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 and then this should be just one more, delete. Okay, so it looks like we've got a nice clean square again. Um, one thing we notice here, right, 
is that if we sort of zoom in a little bit, you can see all these sort of white um, little slivers of white edges. Um, we'll clean that up and you know, that'll be sort of the last thing that we change. Um, the first thing we need to do is change everything that was white back to white. Okay, so that's going to be this shape here. Um, in order to do that, I select it first, then I go up to Shape Fill, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the white option. Um, over here, I'm going to do the same thing. This shape, right, is also white in my original design. I'm going to go ahead. Oops, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, sorry here. I'm going to click back on to the white shape I just made white. I forgot I need to make that shape outline black. Very important, okay? Otherwise, you won't have the border there. You won't have that as a black edge, and you want that. All right, so here we click on the white area. We go, we make it white, we select white from the shape fill, and then don't forget, we have to make the shape outline of that black, okay? And there it is. Um, I still, you know, we're not quite done yet, all right? You still want to then select all of your black shapes, and you want, they're already black, but you're going to select the shape outline, and you're going to change that to black. I think right now there's no outline, which is why you have a little bit of, kind of misalignment of this edge here and the outlined edge is a little higher up, right? And that's also the reason you see these white um, lines sort of in between the overlap shapes. And we it's just distracting to see them. We don't need to do that. So um, select, hold down shift, click on all of the black shapes here. And then we go to shape outline and we click on black and that should bring that edge right back up so it's flush with the border um, around the rest of the image and that will also have eliminated any of those little white lines right see okay so you are all set here this image happens to be centered still in the 11 so the the this white sort of artboard um, slide you know um, area of my PowerPoint document is sized as 11 by 11. Um, so it should be, I sized it so that you should be able to print pretty easily on tabloid sized paper, 11 by 17 inch paper, um, which is what you want to select when printing. This is centered. If this is not centered, you're going to again go and rubber band select the image and then just you know, move it around until it is centered. And that way it should pre it should print, you know, pretty well, um, you know, pretty centered and you won't lose part of the image when you're printing it out on 11 by 17 paper. Okay. Um, the next step is you're simply going to go up to your file menu for PowerPoint and you're going to um, save as and you are going to save it simply as a PDF document here. It can take me a little while to do this here, um, just because my computer is slow somehow. I don't know why it's taking, I'm gonna cancel this. Hold on, cancel, let's try this again. Um, save as, all right, and there we go. And PDF. All right, and save. This is gonna save the whole document, okay? All of the pages, you can see here too. I'm not sure if it will do that for you or not. If you can save the individual slide file, that's fine. Um, then you're simply gonna go over to, sorry here. Uh, you're simply gonna go over, I believe it is this one. All right, and then I'm just gonna open that um, in, sorry, in PowerPoint. There we go. Or, or sorry, in uh, Adobe, right, in Acrobat. Um, all right, so now I'm just going to go to that page that I want to print out, which is right here, okay? And then I will go, you know, through the printing prompts, however it is that you are able to print on whatever computer or you know whatever printer you're printing at, um, and you if you can select the 11 by 17 inch paper, you need to do that. 
and you should scale the print itself, the scale of the of the image to print at 100%. Okay, if you don't, then it may go ahead and add a border, in which case the dimensions of this composition are gonna change from 10 by 10, which they are now, to something like nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters, which is just a little bit more of a hassle. So make sure it's scaled to 100% um, before you print. And that should be that. All right, thank you.